everybody, it's Paige, and today we have a little bit of a surprise declutter. I know I just did my huge makeup collection declutter series. I got rid of half my makeup. I posted like eight videos about it. If you guys are interested in some binge-worthy content, I'll have my Vlogmas playlist linked down below. Um, but today we're actually going to be decluttering my perfumes. So I recently moved them into a couple drawers in my Alex Stein drawer unit. We're gonna go head over there. I'll show you what I got and I will go through them, declutter a few and kind of see what we're left with. I'll let you guys know what my favorites are because I've been obsessed with scent and fragrance recently so i'm excited and if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give this video a like i would really appreciate it it helps me out so much when you guys like and comment on my videos so let me know what your favorite perfume is in the comments down below and give this video a like and i would really appreciate it i'd love to chat scent with you <laughs> down below in the comments so let's go ahead and get started with the declutter so here i have all of my perfumes i have my travel size perfumes, my solid perfumes, and my regular full size spray perfumes. I'm going to dump these out onto this blanket. I'm going to organize them a bit and then we're going to go through them and do some decluttering. I was pretty savage with my makeup declutter series. That's not necessarily what this is going to be. This is going to be more of a curation of my fragrance collection. I've been really into fragrance recently, so little disclaimer there, but I definitely have quite a few that I have my eye on decluttering from this basket. So let's just dive right in. Here are all of my fragrances. I have quite a few. I did a declutter maybe like six months ago or so, but I'm ready to kind of comb through this again. I have recently like been even more interested in fragrance than I have in the past. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a few that I know that I am keeping. So first up we have Ariana Grande Cloud. I love this fragrance. I have like become re-obsessed with this scent. It smells amazing. And I actually recently got to smell Baccarat Rouge and I gotta say, this smells almost exactly the same. I don't know that I could tell them apart. So yeah, if you're looking for a Baccarat Rouge dupe, this one is fantastic. It's a great price and I actually have two of them. I have the 3.4 fluid ounce as well as the 1.7 fluid ounce and I am going to be keeping both. While we are on the topic of Ariana Grande fragrances, I also have this one, which I don't know what the name of this one is. It smells really good, but I feel like if I'm gonna wear an Ariana Grande fragrance, it's gonna be Cloud, so I'm actually going to declutter this one. I also have this one from Ariana Grande. Again, I'm not sure what the name of this is. The name is nowhere to be found. The packaging on this is so cute, and for that alone, I want to keep this. But I just, I don't know. I feel like, again, I'm probably going to just go for Cloud if I'm feeling an Ariana Grande perfume. You know, it does smell really good. I got to say, I hate how the paint chips on this cap. I was literally going to declutter this because of that. But I think if I just take the cap off, it looks better. So I think I'm actually going to keep that one. It smells so good. I haven't smelled that one in so long. Next, we have some KKW fragrances. So we're going to start off with this peach one. I think that this is so cute. I love peaches. I just think that they're so adorable, but I have not used this since my last perfume declutter. So we are going to get rid of it. This Kylie Jenner collaboration with KKW, I'm going to keep. This is the nude lip scent. I don't know the name of it, but it's the nude one. I used to have all three, but this one I still love the fragrance of. This one is a crystal fragrance from KKW. I love the bottle. I think it's so beautiful. This smells like gardenia. Not my everyday go-to, but this is a really good gardenia fragrance, so I am going to keep that one. And then I have this one, which um, I'm just going to kind of like censor it, but you guys know which one this one is. <laughs> um, this one, again, I am going to keep. I love the scent of that fragrance. On to my more like luxury expensive fragrances. 
YSL Libre. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what it looks like. This one is incredible. This one is a little bit more sophisticated than what I typically go for, but I love it. If I want something that smells a little bit fancier, this is what I'm gonna go for. It's not powdery. It's not like old lady grandma floral. It is so, so good. I don't know how to explain the way that it smells, but it's incredible and I will be keeping it. Another one of my go-tos is Black Opium from YSL. This one smells incredible. It has notes of coffee in it and this is an OG classic favorite of mine. I also have the body oil, like the dry body and hair oil, and I am going to be keeping both of these. Victor and Rolf Flower Balm is a classic. I honestly forgot that I had this fragrance and I am going to be keeping this one. I do however have the little trial rollerball and I don't need the rollerball and the full size so I am going to declutter this one. We have Chanel number no. five. This is a fragrance that is just not really my thing. It's really beautiful. I love the bottle um, and I know it's like a classic but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I wanna keep it for the aesthetic, but I'm trying to not do that so much. Next, I have Chance from Chanel. This one, again, is not one of my favorites, but I do want to keep this. I, I've i kind of like gone back and forth on if I like this scent or not, so I don't know if this will be like a forever keep for me, but we'll definitely reevaluate it next time I do a perfume declutter, but for now, I'm going to keep it. And then I have Gucci Guilty. This bottle needs to be like polished. <laughs> it gets fingerprints really, really bad, but this one smells great. This one is definitely more of like a fancy smelling perfume and I am definitely going to keep that one. I have both of my MAC fragrances, which are both going to stay. I have Velvet Teddy and Creme de Nude. I love both of these so much. I have some solid perfumes down here from Lush. These bigger ones are so old um like this one for example was made in 2016. it still smells incredible but i feel like uh six years old going on seven is probably old enough so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of these but i am going to keep my newer ones i have some other like roller balls and trial size or like travel size ones i have two of the uh, uh sol de janeiro Cherosa 62 in the travel size i definitely don't need both of these so i'm going to keep one and declutter one and then i have these two from kaoli i am going to keep both of these they are double ended so we have vanilla cocoa 21 and pink pepper 25 and then on the other one we have musk 12 and vanilla 28 so both of those are staying and then i have a little mini creme de nude which i think i'm gonna keep it's a nice little travel size so this one i'm gonna keep i sort of rearranged these a bit so that they were in frame a little better Next, we have the Day Prickly Pear Hair and Body Perfume. This one I am definitely keeping. I love the scent of this. It smells just like their hair oil. If you know, you know. Next, we have Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I was about to say, um, Perfume. And this is a floral fragrance. I don't have too many florals, and this one's really nice, and I love the bottle, so we're gonna keep that one. My Lush perfumes are all staying. I have the Comforter, 29 High Street, Yognog, Fresh As, and Calacus. All of these are absolutely incredible, and they're not going, oh gosh, anywhere. The next one that I'm going to declutter is actually going to be this one. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I picked this out from a uh, sampler, like a fragrance sampler, but it's just not my thing. I think it smells good, but I just don't see myself wearing this. Like I don't like identify with myself when I'm wearing this. So I am sadly going to be decluttering that one. I'm going to be keeping my mix bar fragrances. I have two of them. I have vanilla bourbon and coconut palm. These are both great, more affordable options. I got those at Target. My pink sugar is not going anywhere. I have a small, like one fluid ounce one, and then I have the full size. I also have one in my 
bathroom. It's a full size. I would say I'm like down to here. So I'm pretty close to being done with that one. But this is a forever fragrance for me. I have been wearing this since I was probably 15 and I don't plan on stopping. Of course, we have the classic Sol de Janeiro Charosa 62. This one will be staying. I have some oldies but goodies. So we have Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. This one I used to wear all the time in high school as well. And I this one is just very like nostalgic to me. Um, and I think it smells great. Definitely a throwback fragrance, but it's a good one, so that one's gonna stay. I'm also going to keep Wonderstruck from Taylor Swift. I love this fragrance. I used to get so many compliments on it when I wore it. I don't really wear it a ton anymore, just because I don't even know if they still make this, but this is just like, I don't know. This holds so many good memories for me, and I do like to pull it out every once in a while. And if somehow, some way, I'm able to make it to the Taylor Swift concert, this upcoming tour, then that would be fantastic and I will definitely wear that, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. This Dolce & Gabbana Garden fragrance is so good. I picked this one through one of the sampler sets from Sephora and I love it. I feel like this is just like an underrated fragrance. It smells so good. Then we have Vanille, Vanille, <laughs> Vanilla, Vanille, from, I don't know what this brand is, but the it's from Anthropology is where I got it. This smells incredible. It's the best like true vanilla fragrance. It smells so freaking good. I love this so much that it's not going anywhere. And then we're down to these three. I have Creme Brulee. This one is from TJ Maxx. I got it for $14.99. This one smells so good. It's like sweet and spicy kind of in a way and I just I love the way that it smells and I recently picked that one up and that is staying and then we have these two this one from Pacifica is called Moonray Bloom I bought this solely because on the packaging it said to the moon and back and that's like something that I've said with my mom since I was like a little kid and it's just a super like meaningful saying but this scent is just I'm not feeling it and it makes me sad and the bottle doesn't even say to the moon and back or anything like that so I think I can let it go. Definitely got me with the packaging and that little phrase but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one even though I literally just bought it but I just don't need it. And then we have Bali Night. I don't know what I want to do with this one. I don't know if I should keep it or declutter it. It smells really really good. It does but <sighs> I feel like it's very beachy, which I love a good beachy scent, but I know I have some scents from Bath and Body Works that are like kind of more on the beachy side. And although I wanna keep this, I don't think that I need it. So, and I, I feel like I'm gonna reach for other fragrances over this one, so I don't really know when I will get to this. So I am going to declutter this one. So let me line up all, actually I'll line it up so you guys can see maybe all of the ones that I am decluttering. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six full-size perfumes, two travel size, and six solid perfumes. I'm definitely keeping way more than I'm decluttering, but this was just a nice like kind of comb through to kind of clear out some fragrances that I just don't see myself using anytime soon and then I can focus on the ones that I love and rotate. I need to bring back fake fragrance of the day on my Instagram stories. I was on a kick of doing that, so I need to bring that back, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Although it wasn't as much of a savage declutter, it was still fun to kind of go through and talk to you guys about some of my favorite fragrances and let you guys know which ones I wasn't loving. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.